guys, it's Kendra. Today I'm here to do my September favorites. I have makeup, hair care, and a few, one skincare item and one kind of random thing. These are all products I'm using so much this month and I really love them, so I'm excited to talk about them. So let's get into it. So starting off, I have an eyeshadow. This is from L'Oreal. It's the Infallible Paints Metallics. And the color I have is, uh, does it not say the color? I think I ripped it off but it's the bronze color. It's a really beautiful, bronzy, metallic. I have not been wearing anything on my eyes other than mattes pretty much for like the past year. Seriously, all I've been doing is bronzer in the crease and just really simple, warm tone colors. But I wanted to try this out and the first time I used it, I loved it. It's so easy. I just apply this with my fingers. It is incredibly pigmented and I just put it all over my lid. Can you guys see how intensely pigmented that is? So I just put it all over my lid and then I kind of just blend it a little bit up into the crease so it's not like a, you know, completely harsh line or anything. And then I also take whatever is left over on my finger and run a little bit of that underneath my eyes. The reason I like this so much, first of all, it's really easy to use. You don't even need to use a brush. Just apply it with your fingers. And then the other thing I like about it is it looks like you have a really in-depth eyeshadow look going on. And in reality, usually I just do this and then I pop some bronzer into the crease or just some type of matte brown to blend it out. And that's all I do. I did this every night we went out in Nashville and I loved it. It lasts a really long time too. And especially if you guys have blue eyes, it really makes your blue eyes pop. So highly recommend these, the Infallible Paints Metallics. They have a bunch of different colors, but the bronze shade is the one that I figured I'd wear the most often. There are a bunch of other kind of fun ones. I just don't really ever wear anything other than neutrals. So um, definitely recommend this color. Next is my Pure, it's a four-in-one pressed mineral makeup, broad spectrum SPF 15. And I'm in the color Light Claire. This is actually a little light for me right now, but it works great for a setting powder. So what I do with this is just use this lightly all around my face to set any areas that may get shiny throughout the day. So I take a little bit of this underneath my eyes, you know, just kind of the T-zone area. Also, if I want to do a little bit more contouring, sometimes I'd put a little bit of this on before so that it's easier to blend out your bronzer. The reason I like this though, it's a foundation, so it gives you coverage, but I don't use it all over my face. Like I don't apply it with a heavy hand or anything. I just use it sparingly, wherever I just need a little bit more coverage after I put on my foundation. This also can be used as a concealer. So say I've done my foundation concealer and then I've used this all over my face just to kind of set everything in place, but maybe a pimple is still showing through. I just use my finger, take a little bit more of this powder and just put it right on the blemish and it covers it right up. So in Nashville, I, you know, I do my makeup in the morning and we'd be doing stuff all day long. And then if I wanted to kind of freshen up my makeup before we went out at night, I would just take a little bit of this kind of touch up little shiny areas and it didn't look cakey or anything. So love this for just kind of finishing off my foundation. So speaking of foundation, this is from Cover Effects. It's their custom enhancer drops. You can tell that I use this a lot because the, the wrapper is completely worn off. I believe the shade I have of this, this one is Sunkissed and this is their liquid bronzer color. So it's not a highlighter. What I do with this is I mix it into my foundation. So if my foundation color is a little bit too light for me because I've been a little bit tanner lately and been going on walks a lot with the girls so I've been a little bit darker. So to kind of fix that with my makeup I just put a few drops of this into my foundation, mix it around and it really warms up the color of your makeup but it also gives your skin more of a radiant look. It's so pretty. You can also just use this like you would a liquid bronzer so do your foundation and then take a little bit of this and apply to a brush just to, around the outsides of your face just to contour a little bit but it really gives your face a beautiful warmth and it looks like you have a really pretty tan. The highlighting shades are really pretty too but I've been using this one a lot. Okay, next I have a lip product from Hourglass. These are new. It's a lipstick that you can alternate the shades. You pop them out. So first of all I really like the packaging. I think it's super cute and sleek. You open it and then here is the lipstick. So it's a twist up like thin lipstick. 
This color is True Love Means and it's a really nice light pink. And on my lips, it looks a little bit more peachy, but I have that one on along with this other one. I mix the two together. And then what you do with this is you just pop it off and then you can, I'll show you. Here's the other one. You just switch them. And this one I have is called You Are My. This one is more of a mauve purple. It's so pretty. So I have those two mixed onto my lips. So say you want to add this one into your little gold thing. You just pop it right in and then you put the cap on. So then you have a new lipstick. The actual finish is really pretty. I would say it's a satin, so it gives you a little bit of a shine. They're really creamy and highly pigmented, so I think they're a really beautiful lipstick. You can tell on my the back of my hand, they just have a little bit of a sheen, and obviously I'm wearing them right now. But I really like them if you like more of a creamy, satiny lipstick instead of a completely matte look because I feel like a lot of new lip products right now are all matte and sometimes I don't want a completely matte lip. So these are nice if you just want something a little, have a little more shine. Okay, moving on to hair. So these two hair products I've been using nonstop. So the first thing is from Aveda. It's our purifying scalp cleanser. So what I do with this is after I get in the shower, I get my hair wet and then I just run this all throughout my scalp. If that was open, that'd be really bad. I run this like down my hairline and then from there I just rub it all throughout my scalp and it smells amazing. But I mean, all of the Aveda products do. So it cleanses, exfoliates, and balances out the levels. I have been noticing that my scalp was getting really dry. I think my hair was super dry too, just because it's been extremely hot. So this has been a really nice treatment for my hair. Also, I think it's really good for my actual hair, not just my scalp. And then this is from Kevin Murphy. I love Kevin Murphy hair products. This is the Restore Repairing Cleansing Treatment. So this is like a shampoo and conditioner all in one. It smells amazing. It smells like papaya and pineapple so it has superfood proteins in here that helps to strengthen and repair dry damaged brittle color treated hair which is me it is sulfate and paraben free and it's a cleansing treatment so I go in with this first and then I use this and then I'm done and the nice thing about that is I feel like when I have anything extra in the shower, like an extra treatment for my hair, I never want to use it because it feels like extra time. But since this is a combined shampoo and conditioner, you don't you don't you don't have an extra step because it's just this and then this. So the two of these together makes my hair feel so soft, shiny, and it feels extremely healthy. I did get it dyed. I got all of the blonde off of the tips. It was just so blonde and it was not the color that I wanted it to be anymore and my hair is growing really fast right now so it looked just weird before when I did it originally the blonde started right here but my hair was really short so it looked normal but now like the tips were so long and grown out that it just looked weird so this is actually my natural color my roots she didn't touch my roots but I wanted her to match the rest of my hair to my roots and just go more natural so this is kind of getting back to my natural hair color. And it's so weird because I'm really used to being lighter and having blonde and highlights, but I'm liking this for fall and I'm, I just feel so much healthier. And a lot of you guys were asking what color she used and I have no idea. I just kind of show her pictures and I just tell her what I want. And I just said I wanted something a little bit more auburn and I wanted the highlights to be more caramel as opposed to ashy blonde and again just kind of match it to my natural color and these are the products I'm using for styling nothing new here I use these I've used them for a really long time this is the color enhancing leave-in cream with pomegranate it's from chlorine because it's at Sephora it smells amazing and it's a really good leave-in leave-in conditioner. I love this because it protects my hair from any heat that I put on it. It also has a UV protectant in here and it just is a really good kind of shield for my hair. And then this is from Aveda. It's the Light Elements Texturizing Cream. I have been using this for so long. This is my, I think it's my second or third bottle of this. But again, smells divine. It is a kind of a lightweight like whipped cream. I put this on my hair after I'm completely done styling it. I take a little bit of it, rub it throughout my hands, and then I just scrunch it into all my curls. I use this when I do waves in my hair. 
and it gives your hair a little bit of hold. It kind of breaks up your curls so it looks a little bit more textured and also it smooths anything out. So if you have like frizzy hair, flyaways, it kind of tames all of that. I have two more things. The first is my Just Natural Manuka Acne Treatment. I've been using this for so long. Whenever I talk about this, for some reason I think back to when we lived in Seattle because I think that's when I first started using this. But it is amazing for pimples. So I've been getting a little bit more breakouts here and there and I think it's because I've been drinking a lot less water. I don't know what it is, but now I feel like drinking water takes so much time. It's so time consuming. When I'm running around the house trying to clean and wrangle my two girls, it, stopping and to just drink water seems like it takes so much time. But anyways, I need to drink more water because I've been using this a lot lately. So you just put this directly on any breakouts you have. If I have a lot of pimples, then I literally just put this all over my face before I go to bed. But usually I just take like a couple drops of this, put it on whatever pimples I have going on. And then I sometimes do my moisturizer on after that. But it seriously takes away your pimple in a day. It's a magical oil. Andrew had some breakouts the other day and I was like, Trust me, you need to use this. It is amazing. And he's like, no, I don't want to use any of your weird oils. It kills all the bacteria, but it's really healing too. So it doesn't dry out your pimples. Honestly, trust me, this is the best pimple product I've ever used. The last product I have is a mist. It is from Lotus Way. It's called Quiet Mind Energy Mist. It relieves neck and shoulder tension, quiets your mind, and sleep soundly. So this is a blend of a bunch of oils. It's free of artificial fragrances, phthalates, and petrochemicals, and it's organic. And I think I'm just superstitious now because whenever I use this, I always think that I have such a better sleep and I think that I fall asleep a lot faster. And when I don't use this, I'm like laying in bed thinking, oh my goodness, I didn't spray my mist. So if it's hard for you guys to fall asleep at night, if it's hard for you to just quiet your mind and unplug and just be still, I highly recommend you guys check this out because I am the type of person who cannot stop thinking at night. I lay down, sometimes I go to bed quick, but some most nights I lay there with so many thoughts and it's like nighttime is my creative time and that's when I have all these ideas and I feel like I need to write everything down whereas Andrew lays down and literally falls asleep in two seconds. So for me, I need all the help I can get to just stop thinking and just go to sleep. So those are all of my favorites for this month. I hope you guys got some good ideas on some new products to test out. I will list everything that I talked about down below in the info section. And that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I will talk to you very soon.